Hello, my ladies, welcome back to another fabulous video here on my channel. Yes, we're going to be starting with that intro now instead of, of course, I am Jacob, so I'll, I'll mention that in every video, because this is a different platform, but by a different platform, I mean it's a different, like, media than Sims, but we're going to be talking about how I outline a book today. This is my fifth time recording this. Fun facts. Um, every time I record it, I plan on uploading it really soon after, and then I always end up not being able to, and so my whole schedule has been pushed and moved, and so instead of me doing an update video of this, like I was planning on, all month, we're not. We're just going to talk about how I outline a book, and then, um, yeah, we're also going to talk about some of the key factors of this novel, um, such as the story, storyline, things like that, so everybody can follow along. But I'm going to put it down right now that there might be some minor or major spoilers going forward. So just be on your best whereabouts. But if you want to know how to outline a book like I do, um, just follow along. But if you don't want to know that because you don't want to know spoilers, I'm very, very sorry. I was going to do this whole section where I outline the book, where we like outline it together, and then we move forward. And actually, that's what we did here. But the video got canned, like I said. It's been a process. But first, we, we start with this section up here. This section is very important to, I would say, all my book outlines when I do one. Um, this one in particular needed one, so I can stay on track, but other books, I don't tend to do them. But this one in particular, I did. So we have Untitled Sci-Fi, because that's the book that we're going to be writing. It's a sci-fi novel, even though I think it's going to be more into a dramedy, but right now it's a sci-fi. It's a low sci-fi. Um, it's going to be 80,000 words, roughly with about 600-ish pages by the fonts and stuff we choose will determine actually how long it's going to be. It could be 500, it could be 400, but either way it's going to be like 80,000 words. Um, and it's going to be 30 chapters. Sorry if I play with this, it's a diction. It's going to be 30 chapters long because I divide my book into a three-act structure, and so each act has 10 chapters, so forth and so forth. Um, right now it's stated as a standalone, but it matters not in the book will determine if there will be a sequel. I always just turn that stuff later on. Um, if there's a plot thread or something that I didn't get to finish, maybe I would maybe write something smaller, like a novella to go with and finish that plot thread. Or maybe I would add on an extra chapter in there to make sure I cover everything up if it's a standalone. If not, um, I have a tendency, from people who have read my books, that I write. I have a tendency to give you open endings, even if it is in a standalone, even if it is a standalone, especially if it's a standalone, I don't wrap them up very nicely, and I just don't like books that do that, so it's a problem. I'm working on it, but we'll see where this goes. Um, right now it's an action sci-fi romance, there isn't a lot of action, there's pieces of action throughout the novel, but there's not, like, a ton of it. Um, and of course, if you're watching this later on, please do go ahead and click down the link down below where the book is not untitled anymore, but it is on my Wattpad page that you can read along too and figure out where you're at. Because you could be months, you could be like, we could be watching this at the end of October, we're pretty far into the book by that point, so just go ahead and update yourself. By the way, if predictions will look and see when the first chapter will be up for you guys to view, we'll see. Um, pages and words. Page count per chapter um, is roughly 20 pages, but once again, this cannot change. This is actual book font. I don't know what's going to be on Wattpad, but it's going to be roughly around 3,000 words, which is, it's not bad. Wattpad sometimes has, like, chapters that are, like, 40,000, like, I'm not 40, like, 10,000 words, and, like, it's ridiculous, and I think it's way too long. It's overwritten, and I think 3,000 is a nice, cool, nice, nice, good one. I like it a lot. Um, and then we go into a different section, so, like, Sorry, I'm not really describing this. I'm describing how the book's written. So, I would make a category for pages and words. This is to help me. Then I'd make a category for background. In which, this is a new category um, that I roughly just added. For the simple fact that the background is very important to the story. Um, I needed it to move forward. Um, so, yeah. And also, it has somewhat of synopsis in here. Because, like, down here is practically the synopsis. is where our main character is sent down to Earth, that is kind of like an Earth, but it's a different planet, because the place that she goes, like, okay, I will explain this wrong. So it's set, like, 150 years into, 150 years into the future, past a war war, not particularly World War Four. no one talks about World War Four because no one wants it to happen, but not particularly World War Four. a war war, 
and the whole world is Earth in itself is kind of like unlivable, and so they send society up into a utopia, which is up in space. It's um. I have a feeling I'm just going to call it a utopia. I really shouldn't, but it, it's a utopia in space. It's automatically not a utopia because uh, every utopia is not actually one. It's proven. And it's not a horrible dystopia, but they need a new place to live because they've been living there for so long. At the age of like 11, our main character, Avea, gets sent down to a different planet to see if it's habitable. They leave her there for nine, for like six or seven years, and we're going to jump into her when she's 19, and then we're just going to write the story out from there. Um, that's the beginning. That really isn't what's going to be explained, but like on a synopsis backboard of a book, I would say that's probably important. Um, the background of that is important, so you understand. Just so that we're going to be jumping straight into the action at 19 years old. She's already been on this planet for a while, but we will be explaining some stuff about the utopia and stuff like that. But I wanted to build a whole planet because I'm, I'm narcissistic. Um, and then we have settings because you have to keep track of these. Very important. And then I'm also, by the way, by like chapter like five or no, by chapter like eleven, we know almost every character that's coming in this book, which is weird for me. Normally, I'm introducing chapters like what's up, but. Not this time. So we have a character list. We're going to very quickly slide over that because, like, spoilers. Um, and then we have a whole section for plot, plot twist. Now, this is a section I highly recommend. Um, highly, highly recommend that you guys really focus on when you're trying to write a book. Every book is built on plot twists. Um, it's really weird how it is. Not every book is. Most books are, I guess, to be more particular. And this book in particular is built on several different plot twists surrounded throughout the novel. And I have medium ones and bigger ones. And especially if you're outlining and you know exactly what you want to write, let's say you have a beautiful idea about this great plot twist that's new and original. No one's done before, but you haven't really figured out a story behind it. You just know what you want to do. Well, you can build a big thread throughout your whole entire novel. So, like, when people are like, oh my gosh, why in the world does you do that? You can be like, um, it's right here. It's written throughout my whole entire novel. Don't be that person. You know what I mean? So, that's a good way to do that is to thread your book, okay? And now, when, now, I've heard people not really understand what I mean by thread. It's like as if you're building like a cloth or whatever. Yeah, pick a needle and you thread it throughout. So I have a plot twist in this book. It's minor. Um, I can't write that because like, I don't want to give any two spoilers. There's a, there's a plot twist that is threaded throughout this whole entire novel. So when it's big, the bigger one, it blows up or whatever. It's there. Um, and then also I have another one, and then I have another one. They're all threaded throughout. That way you definitely understand what's going on. It's very good to do. And then also I break everything up into parts. And then we... By the way, the ending of that, if you did read it at all during my little servant. It's not actually the end of the book. I'm actually almost done with this. I should be done with it tonight. Is the goal and to get it all printed out and stuff. Like, hi, hi, Brittany. Um, but we're gonna go over into Google Drive, which is over there. I think that's very important to have. And then also we're gonna move over into Wattpad so you can figure out what my Wattpad is. And then we're also gonna do Pacemaker so you can figure out how I personally try to stay updated with my own writing. These are just a few little things we're gonna talk about real quick, and then we're gonna end the video. And that'll be the video for the day. I'm very excited for this to go up. And also, if you're a daily viewer on my actual Sims tube and you're like, where's that been? I also, I also have another video that went up today that's practically all dedicated to an update. Um, literally, there's the thumbnail. That's dedicated to an update on all that. So if you're worried that you're like falling behind and you're like, where's all your videos? That's a great one to watch as well. Just a little shout out there um, if you're watching it on the day this gets released. If not, then everything should be fine. But I have a folder in here that's called Booktube's Books or whatever, and I have a lot of things in here. But for instance, we have several documents or whatever in here that we need to keep. Upload schedules, outlines, this is the actual outline, this is a fake outline. Um, and then we also have some covers. So the basic premise for my cover, oh, that's the wrong one. No, that's the right one. The basic premise for my cover is this. Um, I went to Photoshop and I played around a little bit, and this is what I came up with. I really like it. It's a little dark. It's a little mysterious. I like the ideas of this. Um, and so right now, it will have a title where Untitled is located. That's what this document is. It's my PDF thing for um, 
Photoshop. Okay. And then you also need a fragment document so I can be writing or whatever. And you can put everything there. Um, and then also, we're going to open up a different thing. Because right now I'm writing a lot on on Google, and I have been haven't been really utilizing my actual Word on my laptop, because I've been doing most of this at my, at my library. But, if we go to my profile, we are going to have two books on here. I'm going to be writing both of them throughout. Um, but, for instance, this is my profile, The Only True Me. I'm going to change it to... No, nah, it's probably The Only True Me. Okay. And it's... So that's what you look up. Um, if you want to figure it out a quicker way, you can always go to the perfect one. It's a book that's up right now, which I'm still planning on writing. I'm just putting it on hold at the moment so I can focus on this particular project. But that's where it's going to be uploaded is here. So if you want to stay updated with this novel during my, my vlogs or whatever, in which we're going to be having vlogs all the way throughout the months of October, November, because that's the months I'm planning on writing this in, um, then that's where you would go. Definitely. Now, just to give you a heads up, just because a vlog goes up, does not mean a new chapter goes up. I'm just going to explain that right now. So, if we go over to Pacemaker, a simple flexible word count planner, and we go to My Plans, and we go to the Untitled... Oh, did it? Seriously? Oh, okay, it did. Every day I'm planning to write about 1,300 words. I might try to write 1,500 words a day might be the goal, but right now it's 1300, so supposed to start on Monday, it's the first day that we're starting it, this Monday actually, which is really, really exciting, I'm really excited to jump into this project, but, as you guys do know, if I write 1500 words, so every two days a new chapter is supposed to go up, and if I do that the right way, if not, we'll figure it out, so just stay preoccupied, um, I honestly couldn't tell you when, but for like that second day, like the writing block number... Writing blog number one, actually, should probably be going up with the actual writing, you know, the, the thing. The, uh, the working on it thing, yeah. Cool. I think that's everything. I'm, oh, no, hold on. Then if we go into here, and we go to, I think it's on desktop. Very sorry, I'm trying to fix my nose so it's not super disgusting. But we go on to desktop or whatever. Um, I have several different things I like to stay updated with, and so I just want to explain these to you real fast. So we have our untitled book outline, which I'm about to update because I'm going to write, we're going to be, I'm going to be on the road a lot today, so perfect time to finish. Um, but I also have the book, in which I'll talk about more with you later, but, um, we have the book. And then we have a chapter. Now, a chapter is simply a document that I made so I can write one chapter inside it, and then we can move it over into the actual book. That way I'm not confused about word count or anything else like that. I'll explain it more as we go into the blogs, but I think these three things right here are necessary for me as a writer. Now, my book outline, I'll probably have an actual printed copy of that I look at, and I'm analyzing, and I'm kind of like going through it as I write that chapter, so I can mark out things, or, oh, this is going to be moved, or whatever. I have, a, I have a solid copy right here, and I'll probably end up printing out like two or three or four of those solid copies and updating them as I go. That way I know this is where I'm at. Just to give you a heads up, and which we'll talk about more, like I said, in the vlogs, I'll probably vlog one day where I'm just like fixing the outline or whatever. I mean, every day I'm writing, so, but you understand what I mean. So yeah, that is it. I do want to mention that I have a lot of schoolwork coming up. I have several exams and things for the next few weeks, and so my write count, hopefully it stays up, but I have a lot of studying to do. But I'm going to try to study and write. My writing is going to be like my my side thing. Um, but this week in particular, I'm going to try to, I have a new book that I'm getting at 30 today, which I'm really excited about. And I'm going to try to try my hardest to read it all this weekend. So that's my goal. We will see. And of course, I will see you guys all in um, tomorrow for another video. Because tomorrow is we're going to be setting up the book. I should know the title by tonight. And we're going to set the book at my mom's house, um, and I'll explain to you how I set up a book and we can talk about it, and then on 
Sunday, we have a very, very big, important episode where we're going to be creating a few different characters that are essential to my novel and um, to really realize them. And I'm really excited about that, too. And these things I want to share with you because we're writing this book together. It's very important for you to know. So please do stay updated on Wattpad as I do write it and comment and make your own opinions and assumptions of what's going to be going on. And, of course, if you do want to know spoilers, please just comment down below and we can talk about it fully so you can give me your critical advice or whatever and it's gonna be really fun i'm not really sure how it's gonna go but i'm here for the ride so if you like this video please give me a big fat thumbs up don't forget to comment down below hit the subscribe button and i'll see you all next time for another beautiful video